Hey, on Tiki Fire Toy Reviews, Duke from G.I. Joe. Hello, Tiki Fire here with another Tiki Fire Toy Review. Today, this is kind of an extra special review for me because this is a review of Duke. And this is my own childhood Duke figure from the old G.I. Joe three and three quarter inch line. Pretty cool, man. Um, recently, my family came down to visit at Thanksgiving, and my dad had gotten around the attic and dug out a bunch of these old G.I. Joes. And I had fixed a few in the past of my old ones, and I've had them in storage. And Duke here came in the box that my dad brought me. Several boxes, actually. And I pieced him back together, put a new O-ring inside him, and voila, we have Duke. Now, Duke's a pretty cool character. He was originally a mail-in in 1983, and then he was released on a card back in 1984. And to be honest with you, I can't remember which version of Duke I actually got. I may have mailed, done the mail-in. I can't honestly remember. And I've pieced him together with all of his pieces. I believe this helmet is his, but I may have had a different helmet that didn't have the holes on the side like this one does. As you can see there. Let's take a look at him. I'll rotate him around. He's got a pistol um, molded into his leg. He's got his backpack with field dressings and things, and looks like some kind of some kind of uh, bedroll shovel, some other little packs on there. He's got his helmet. I believe that's his helmet, but if not, the the color definitely matches. Anyways, he's got his gun, which is a submachine gun, and he's got his removable binoculars. Now these binoculars. Obviously, it's seen better days. Um, broken. This is 30-year-old plastic. I'm not surprised. And let's take a look at him. And he's from the Swivel Arm Battle Grip line of figures. That second line is when they started making him a Swivel Arm Battle Grips in 1983. And you could order him so with the mail-in flag points. Pretty cool. Now, something I noticed is when I put the gun in his hand... It was, I had to do it very carefully because these 30-year-old G.I. Joe figures, some of them were very brittle anyways, their thumbs. And I'll tell you, Dukes really didn't want to go in there. And in fact, uh, my original Stalker figure, I recently put him back together and I'll do a review on him eventually, but I broke his thumb actually trying to put the gun in his hand. <laughs> so definitely don't do it if you're messing around with those 1982 original figure lines of G.I. Joe's. And one thing I've seen in other reviews, and that I noticed on mine too, is that his eyebrows clearly got a bit scratched over the years. And that's basically due to the fact that the helmet and the way his hair is molded kind of uh, weirdly, the helmet kind of comes down over them and tends to scratch when you're taking it, putting it on and off of him. So we've got Duke, we've got his backpack. And how you can tell if this is his backpack or not is the color sort of matches his shirt. Sort of. <laughs> it's not exact, but it's pretty close. Um, and the original Dukes, I believe, didn't have any cross hatching in the middle here. Uh, the reason I say that is Airborne, for instance, had a backpack just like this. But his had the cross hatching in the middle. And his was a little lighter color. It matches his colors of his shirt. Um, now, Duke is very poseable. That was one good thing about these guys as compared to, say, the original Star Wars line. Oh, crap. Is you could pose him, and I just broke his crotch off. That's fun. Um, one thing I forgot to mention is I had to... I broke his crotch when I was putting him back together, and I had to super glue it back on. Obviously, didn't need to be posing him, so I'll have to super glue that back on. The fun of taping things. <laughs> Anyways, you can pose them. Just be careful on these 30-year-old toys, especially when you're fixing them, that they, they don't break off. Um, at some point, I may have to just replace his middle piece with the piece from another Duke. We'll see. Um, these are fixable, generally. 
You just have to kind of be careful because they do get brittle over time. Um, and some of them were brittle to begin with. Now the good thing about these guys is they compose in all kinds of action poses. The swivel arm battle group guy, grip, battle grip guys, you can pose them. <laughs> um, a little bit of his paint scratched off. I did play with him a lot as a kid. And so there's Duke. Um, the cool thing with these guys is they came with file cards. I don't have his file card. I believe it's in my parents' attic still because my dad said there were a bunch of those up there. And I'm planning on going in the spring and dicking out a bunch of that stuff. But on his file card, it said his real name was Conrad S. Hauser. If you've watched the old G.I. Joe cartoons, um, he was a main character in the cartoons up until I think like the second or third season, something like that, when they brought in General Flag. And I wasn't even watching it by then, so I'm not really sure what was going on by then. But um, Duke, um, after Hawk, was in the leader of the G.I. Joes. And pretty cool figure. Um, pretty cool looking guy. And he was, like a lot of these G.I. Joes, and you read their file cards, it says things about basically them being in Vietnam, that sort of thing. Because I guess that was the era. Um, this came out in the early 80s, and they would have been about the right age to be in Vietnam, and if they're now special forces, I guess. So, anyhow, kind of weird, but kind of cool. Um, I still like my old G.I. Joe stuff. Um, a lot of it's in various pieces. <laughs> and I'm slowly trying, trying to piece that stuff back together. As I get more pieced back together, um, and most of them I'm not breaking their crotches off, of course. Um, as I get the piece back together, I'll do more reviews about them. Anyways, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Um, give me a thumbs up if you liked it. If you didn't like it, let me know why. <laughs> um, leave me some comments. Please subscribe. Thank you.